What's up everybody, this is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com and today we're going to be slinging another video review at you. Uh, today we're looking at Protect Star Eye Shredder, which is this icon right there. So uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and boot this up and get straight into things. Alright, here's the uh, main home screen as you can see. Uh, and what this app does, just to give you a quick run through, is uh, as it says, use Protect Star, excuse me, Protect Star Eye Shredder to secure or erase your Apple iPhone, iPad, or iPod. And uh, essentially what this offers is a uh, peace of mind style service. Um, it corrects a slight problem, uh, you could say problem, maybe catch, with the iOS system, which is that when you erase sensitive data from your apps, it's not actually immediately erased, it's actually marked or uh, flagged for overwrite by other apps, which means it's still hanging about for a little while, which uh, if you're concerned about that, if you're a, a business person or uh, a spy, uh, so if you're James Bond, that might be a problem because uh, that information that's laying around can easily be stolen or uh, misplaced and used in all kinds of different malicious ways. So uh, what ProtectStar wants to do is go over all of that uh, marked data and then replace it with a bunch of zeros in the binary language there, uh, making it completely safe and uh, securing your device, essentially, which is more of a peace of mind thing. Um, and, yeah, they say it's pretty easy to do this. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not a hacker. But uh, either way, that information is there, and it would be possible to have that stolen. So let's go ahead and give you a uh, overview of the app here. The uh, general information, you're going to probably want to read this before you do anything else. It gives a, a very detailed analysis of everything that's going on with this app. We actually did a written review of this app earlier last week. And uh, that was one of my recommendations that we put in that review, was that uh, you definitely want to check this out before you do anything um, it gives you uh, an analysis of the freeware. This is the free version, by the way. This is completely free in the App Store, but a uh, pro version is coming soon. Um, it just gives you an analysis of what both of those versions offer, as well as a little bit of information about what the app does. Uh, so if you want to know more than what I just told you, go here to check that out, and you probably want to. All right, And then uh, here in the settings, and this is, uh, if you saw, let's see if we can go home. I just pushed this little gear button along the bottom there, and what that did was it brought up the main function of the app, which uh, offers these different uh, ways to secure erase data that's on your phone or iPod or even iPad, although I don't think this is optimized for the iPad, so it would just be in the uh, small little window. But are there, f let's see, four different cycles offered here? Yeah, four different methods, excuse me, of erasing data. Um, and uh, you're allowed to choose. Uh, if you if this is a problem, if you're really confused, uh, as I was when I first started, there's a, a question mark down here you can pop. And then uh, it gives you even more data about what these things offer, which is nice. Uh, I don't know anything about these off the top of my head, and I had to read through this to get a good idea, but it was uh, very detailed, and I appreciated it immensely that this was offered. Um, and again, you're going to want to check this out before you do anything. Um, because you don't want to do anything drastic. Um, cool. So, sorry, it's just uh, checking back. See, again, I uh, really needed to read that to get a good idea of what's going on. But uh, let's just go straight into one of these. Uh, you pick your method, and then uh, the app will do the rest. Um, like I said, there's a help file if you need it, uh, but with this nice little scroll wheel, just select whichever one you decide to go with. We're going to go with a one cycle, which means just a one pass erase. And um, we're going to hit the go button. And off it goes. And then as you can see, it says it was uh, overriding the free space of my iPod. And uh, it has a little time left thing going on there. which is nice and uh... this might take a while actually um, it's usually pretty speedy i've got my ipod doing some other things too at the same time but uh... this does go very quickly um, in a relative sense it is nuking your information so it's going to take a decent amount of time but uh... but anyway i'm actually going to stop this and uh... just to give you our uh... yes Anyway, I'm just going to stop that so I can give you a final review of uh, our thoughts of this. Um, it works wonderfully. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell if it does anything is the only problem. Um, like I said, this is more of a peace of mind offering. Um, we, gave it, uh, we gave it a good review. We liked it. We gave it a four and a half stars. 
But, uh, like I said, it's more of a peace of mind thing. It's kind of hard to tell if it does anything because this is not like a defragger for your iPhone or iPod. There's not going to be more uh, free space opened up. Instead, it just uh, erases the free space that's there, protecting you from identity theft and things like that. Um, so if you're bothered by those sorts of things, if you feel unsafe, then go ahead and get this. It's free, and uh, it doesn't take long to do, and then you'll feel a lot better afterwards. But, um... There's no real way to check to see if the app has done anything unless you're a hacker and you're trying to retrieve information from your own phone. So, uh, but other than that, it works beautifully. As you can see, the presentation is really nice, and it's a very fluid process. It's very easy to get from the uh, just, you know, your home screen to erasing your data in very few clicks, which is very nice. So, like I said, we gave it four and a half stars, and uh, I definitely recommend this if you're at all concerned about safety for your iPhone or iPod. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Four and a half. So, this has been Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. Just want to thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll catch you later. Bye.